This is Tank's Vlog, November 17, 2019, wrapping up the day in sports. Ay, ay, ay. It's all over for Tua Tunga Viola. He will never play a game in the NFL. Has Nick Saban in his ever so never ending quest to screw over the Miami Dolphins kept his injured quarterback in the game that they were up 35 to 7 and now he's broken his hip he will he's got the Bo Jackson injury his career is over thank you a lot Nick Satan you've done it again you asshole uh, now the Dolphins will never get a good quarterback they're not going to get Jake fucking from they're going to get they're going to get they're gonna get uh, the more Juwan James, big, big, big bust offensive lineman. They're gonna do nothing, nothing in the NFL. Meanwhile, we'll be scraping the bottom of the barrel for a quarterback, and, and it's just gonna be nonstop ending mediocrity. <sighs> Never works. Nothing ever works out for the Dolphins. Nothing. <sighs> I hate you, Nick Saban. I really do. <sighs> Let's take a look at the uh, top 25. Joe Burrow's now the now doubt number one pick. Definitely going to be going to the Bengals unless the Dolphins figure out how to lose three, uh, not win another game, and the Bengals win three, which is not going to happen. <sighs> So he'll so Cincinnati fans will be enjoying Joe Burrow as uh, he diced apart the uh, Ole Miss fifty eight thirty seven. That's a lot of points for LSU to give up. Kind of surprising. Uh, it was Clemson fifty two three winners over Wake Forest, Ohio State. Uh, 56-21 winners in Rutgers. Um, it's actually a lot of points Rutgers scored in that game. Kind of surprised at that. Georgia held off uh, a late charge from Auburn, 21-14. In the game we talked about, Tua Tunga Viola, his career comes to a devastating end as Alabama beat Mississippi State, 38-7. It was Oregon, 34-6 winners over Arizona. Utah demolished UCLA 49-3. Utah now playing itself in the conversation for the uh, playoff as Minnesota plays itself out. Losing to Iowa 23-19. Penn State survived a scare against Indiana 34-27. Uh, what a rally for Oklahoma. Down 28-3, sound familiar, Falcons fan? As they come back and stun Baylor, scoring 17 unanswered points in the fourth quarter, 24 points in the second half, 24 nothing out in the second half, to beat Baylor 34-31. It was Florida 23-6 winners over Missouri. Wisconsin over Nebraska. 37-21. Cornhuskers likely not even going to make a bowl game. How the mighty have fallen. M Michigan over Michigan State, 44-10. There's going to be no sparty party in the uh, bowls this year either. Notre Dame. The uh, uh, first time they played Navy with both teams ranked in 41 years, and they was all Irish, 52-20. Cincinnati tripped up South Florida 20 to 17. Good year for the Bearcats. Could possibly uh, sneak into a New Year's Six Bowl. Memphis over Houston 45 27. Very bad season for the Cougars. At 3 and 7, their bowl hopes are dashed. Iowa State beat Texas 23 21. <laughs> and they don't, the Longhorns are back. Not! Oklahoma State 31 13 over Kansas. 
West Virginia shocked uh, Kansas State 24-20. And it was Appalachian State 56-27 winners over Georgia State. And there's no other college football to even discuss. I won't even go out the top 25 today. NHL Devils actually starting to play, get their shit together. I mean, oof, I can't believe it. The Devils, beautiful win in Montreal. First time this year that they've uh, rallied from from down to. I mean, ugh, they're, they're finally, maybe, maybe they could finally start playing decent hockey for a change. Of course, they won Friday night with me in attendance. Beating uh, Pittsburgh 2-1. to one. I mean, they tried to blow that game, but they actually held on for a change. I mean, the Devils in the third period have been just an absolute nightmare this year. But uh, a hell of a rally. Getting the uh, overtime game winner in uh, power play, yeah, which is something you don't actually see too often for the Devils. Their power play is just pass the puck around. I mean, seriously. How much passing can you do and hold on. All right. Uh, for, uh, for some reason, my internet just conked out on me because nothing ever fucking works. All right. Now that it's back, let's get back on track. Jets over the Lightning, 4-3. Stars in overtime, 5-4 over the Oilers. Coyotes, Darcy Kemper, what a game. Blanking uh, the Flames. 3 nothing, uh, 37 shave shutout for Kemper. Coyotes actually playing good hockey this year. That's a shocker. I mean, oof. The Coyotes, do you want to talk about a loser organization? I mean, that is just a loser organization. They've, they've not won too many playoff games over the years. And I'm having difficulty here right now. I don't understand why. <sighs> All right, this is going to be a pain in the ass tonight. <sighs> Hold on. All right, here we go again. Kings. Finishing hockey, Kings over the Golden Knights, 4-3. Vegas is struggling. Capitals in a shootout over the Bruins, 3-2. Sabres, 4-3, win two winners over the Senators, and it keeps happening. My damn scores keep going off. 4-3, Panthers over the Rangers. Islanders, 4-3, in a shootout over the Flyers. Penguins, 6-1, over the Maple Leafs. Ducks 4-1 over the Blues. Blackhawks 7-2 over the Panthers. Avalanche 5-4 in overtime over the Canucks. And Sharks 4-3 in the shootout over the Red Wings. What a pain in the ass this thing is being. In the NBA, the Nets got off to a hot start and held on to beat the Bulls, 117-111. They need to get back to 500. That's what the Nets need to do. Uh, I mean, I think they've played better than their record indicates, but they've had a lot of close losses. Hornets edged the Knicks, 103-102. I guess the Knicks can only beat the uh, win games when Christoph Porzingis on the floor. Maybe they should have not traded him. Even if he's on the other team, they win. Bucks 102, 83 winners over the Pacers. Rockets with another MVP performance from James Harden beat the Timberwolves 125 to 105. Heat over the Pelicans. But we want to talk about player uh, showing who the best player is. Have we heard from Russell Westbrook this year? While well, James Harden is going off every night, Harden is just killing it. I guess I guess it actually might be a good thing that Westbrook is actually subjugating himself to Harden. That Harden is clearly the number one. I mean, that was the main concern. If, if these two could meld together this well, Rockets might win themselves an NBA championship. It was the Heat 109-94 over the Pelicans. Mavericks 110-102 over 
the Raptors, another great game for Luka Doncic. And the Trailblazers, 121-116 winners over the Spurs. You know, the Trailblazers just signed uh, Carmelo. That's going to be interesting to see how that works. And the Clippers dropping 150 on the Hawks. 150 to 101. As Paul George just absolutely had a monster game in his home debut. <sighs> Let's see. Today's birthday shout-out. I didn't do actually do my front page today, but my birthday shout-out today goes to Tom Seaver. Yes, Tom Seaver. Tom Seaver's turning 75 today. And we take a look back at uh, Mike Utley. Mike Utley was uh, paralyzed uh, in a game for the Detroit Lions in 1991. As he left the field, he had enough strength to raise his, his hand and his thumb up, and that became the Lions' rallying cry. They actually finished the year 12-4, and four, their best season ever. Well, 12 wins is their most wins, I should say. And they actually won a playoff game. It's the only playoff game the Lions have won in the last 62 years. I'll check that out. Barso Sports. And, uh, of course, Colin Kaepernick. What a fucking phony. I mean, the NFL gets everything put arranged for you. And then you screw them. You go to a, a high school with your buddies to throw the football around. No, that's not how it works, Colin. That's not how it works. Hopefully nobody signs the phony. He just he's just he's just all about himself. He's not about team. He's he, he doesn't want to be on a team. He just wants to be Colin Kaepernick. He wants to just just a platform for his bullshit. That's all it is. It's not it's it's not about playing in the NFL. That that's now abundantly clear. So check out the Check out everything at uh, Barstool Sports and Sports Encyclopedia, where sports history lives. Good day.